welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full review of Taskmaster New Zealand series 4. I did do a review of the first two episodes that were released back when they were released so this is a little bit late coming out but um, yes I still wanted to do it because I think it's one of the best seasons of Taskmaster New Zealand. Possibly the best. Um, I don't know it's really hard to beat season 2 but I'm going to be talking about how much I like it and all the good things about it. So yeah let's just get straight into it. If you needed a reminder the Taskmaster contestants this season were Bubba, Di Henwood, Karen O'Leary, Melanie Bracewell and Ray O'Leary. I loved all of the contestants this season. I think from the first episode I enjoyed everybody um, and again I didn't know any of them going into this season which is typical for me with the New Zealand ones um, but yeah I thoroughly enjoyed everybody and I thought yeah they all played really well with each other. I think they all brought all good energy to the studio. Um, yeah again they just all seem to be really enjoying themselves which is what I want to see in Taskmaster. So overall I thought this was just such a fun season. It was so chaotic, very reminiscent of like New Zealand series 2. As I said in my review of the first two episodes, I think the first two episodes that they released were absolutely fantastic. I thought that you could really sense how the season was going from those episodes with Ray being like spray tanned and Bubba's uh, tattoos. Like they were all very dedicated from the start which I thought was amazing. The prize tasks this season I thought were really good. I think like the categories were quite strong and I think for the most part everybody put in a good amount of effort for the prize tasks. Balancing that, um, balancing the prizes very well on being both like entertaining to talk about and also being like a good prize or fitting the category very well. Obviously highlights include two things I've already mentioned which is Ray's spray tan and Bubba's tattoo um, but there were also amazing things like Mel's telescope I thought was hilarious. Uh, Bubba stealing uh, Ray's switch just I think everybody put in a good amount of effort um, and it, each episode started really strong from the prize task like I personally like the prize task anyway because the comedians get to talk a bit about like themselves or you know talk about a funny story um, but yeah I think this season especially it was really heightened I thought everybody brought a really good energy to the studio um, and you know, like I said, put a lot of effort into the prize task, thinking of a really funny story or doing something outrageous, like Ray's backflip as well, that was good. Um, and yeah, I think that, yeah, there was just so many good prizes and yeah, started the episode very well. In regards to the main tasks, I think that this season we've probably had like the best selection of tasks. I think like the, just all the tasks were so strong. I was, so I've rewatched it and I've gone through like, all the tasks and I don't think there was a weak task this season which I think is quite impressive. It always amazes me how they're able to come up with really strong tasks like continually throughout all the seasons like including like the UK and um, all the other versions as well and create such original tasks. I think New Zealand is doing especially an especially good job with this. I think their tasks um, have been just incredible throughout but yeah season four in particular have been really really strong with their tasks. Um, I went and started making a list of all of the good tasks but like it was pretty much all of the tasks that they had on the show so I picked out a few of my favourites um, to talk about um, but yeah like every task was just fantastic. I've already spoke about the glitter task in my first video. Um, I think this was just a fantastic setup for a task having the glue having the um, bowl glued onto the ceiling I thought was genius. I thought it was such a good trick and having it in one of the earlier episodes I think was a really good idea as well. Not only was like the task a good task um, I thought it was very well constructed. Obviously it was just made funnier by Bubba's inability to see glitter. I just thought that was hilarious and the fact that she was convinced that they had put the glitter there after she'd walked into the kitchen. It was just hilarious. I loved it. Another task I really liked was the snap the pencil task. Again like a very simple completion of the task but yeah the all the music things I thought was a really good way of doing it so they had to listen to the tapes piece it all together. We've got throwback to the uh, fish poster in the shed. Uh, so so many throwbacks including um Guy's Libya song, Guy Williams' Libya song and Guy Montgomery's festive song which that festive song is in my head too much like I love it so much it's so funny um yeah I think about that song way too much for my own good. The whole setup of that task was brilliant it would have been so frustrating to do it and especially for it to be revealed that you could have just played the cd and got the answer that way um but yeah I thought everyone's attempts at this was really good and yeah this is one that's kind of a little bit like the kind of escape room puzzle tasks which I think New Zealand especially are very very good at doing um I think yeah 
Paul and I think it's Sam Smith, I think, who comes up with the tasks. They're both, and all the other task creators, the, the kind of like puzzly escape room tasks they're amazing at coming up with. I think there were a lot of like simple tasks that were done very, very well, like going back to just the basics of tasks. Um, so like winning a bet against Paul, I thought was quite good. And I'm surprised they haven't done something similar to that before. Um, as I said, so that's a simple task, but with hilarious results, it really allows the contestants to do something like to kind of show off a skill that they might not be able to show off otherwise, which I think is a really good idea. Um, and yeah, hilarious results from everybody. Um, I particularly liked Ray's Pokemon naming because I was not sure whether he was being like, whether they were actually real Pokemon. I assume they are, otherwise they wouldn't have got counted. Um, but that was hilarious. I just thought he was making it up. Mel making Paul drink a bucket of cola, I thought was funny. Die getting the task completely wrong. Karen's marshmallow eating was hilarious, a little bit disgusting, but like generally the dedication from both of them was incredible. And of course, Bubba's doing the laps challenge I thought was really good. Trying to be clever and go on the bike, but it just not working. And again, as I said, Paul's dedication here, just unmatched, I thought. He didn't, he didn't need to keep running those laps. Like Bubba had given up, lost ages ago, but I just love the fact that he kept running. Um, just yeah, very, very impressive. The become another contestant again, very simple, but with hilarious results, everybody becoming uh, Di Henwood, which was just hilarious. The, uh, the reveal of it, the editing of it, just absolutely fantastic. The table tennis task I thought was particularly good as well. Again, as I said, just quite a simple thing, just win a point against Paul in table tennis. Um, again, just Paul being incredibly good at like seemingly everything he does. Um, and the penalties I thought were fantastic making the sandwich I thought was particularly funny. Um, but yeah, just this whole task I thought was fantastic. And I think again, just coupled with the fact that Dai was so confused that he won that task in the moment, like just hilarious. I thought this, this again would be one that would be very fun to do, but very frustrating. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that one was very good. Again, just the simplicity of it, um, coupled with the like typical taskmaster like tricks or punishments like the, with the penalties, just made for a hilarious task. I think one thing that Taskmaster New Zealand does particularly well, and I think sets itself apart from the UK one, is it's um, the way that it um, has tasks that kind of follow on from different episodes. Taskmaster UK, it does this sometimes, but I feel like those things are contained within one episode. So if something does lead on to the next, then it'll be in that episode. Um, whereas Taskmaster New Zealand are very, very good at carrying along the tasks. Um, and it, it doesn't feel like tasks are being dragged on or anything like that. I think each task is distinct. Obviously this happened, I think the best one was in Taskmaster New Zealand series three, which was with the dummy task. I thought that all of that setup was just fantastic. The joke at the end with Chris uh, bringing it in, in in the box in the studio, absolutely amazing. But this one was good as well. Um, this task was to get married and then subsequently to break up that marriage. Um, just hilarious. Like the get married one was funny as a standalone task anyway, but it was just made funnier when it was real that they would have to divorce their, or break up their marriage. Um, particularly with Karen who married her partner, which um, first of all, I think Karen's love for her partner is amazing. Um, yeah, she appeared on it quite a lot, which I think is lovely. Um, but then yeah, having to break up her marriage with her actual partner um, was particularly funny. But yeah, as I said, there's just so many strong tasks. Like I'm still going, there's still so many to talk about. The one with her to uh, make a teenager think they were the coolest. That would have been my worst nightmare of a task. Normally the ones that, like if I think about if I was doing these ones, which ones would I hate to do the most? This is the one that I think would top it. Normally it's like the singing ones, but oh my God, that would have been horrible to do. And I liked that everybody immediately just hated it, but not necessarily hated it, but just found, got really nervous. Um, it's amazing how intimidating a 13 year old can be. But yeah, Pearl I thought was very good. I do think that Pearl should have judged this task or at least given it an input. Um, I still can't believe Cool Ray won. I love it, but I can't believe it. Just insanity. Yeah, Jeremy scoring is probably the most contentious out of all of the um, versions that I've seen. I think he is better at this in this season than he was the previous ones. Um, but yeah, this one, I, I think, yeah, Pearl's input in this would have been good because it was what she thought was the coolest rather than what Jeremy thought was the coolest. I know that she was he was trying to go off what like her reactions were um, and what the contestants did, but I do think Pearl should have had an input. But again, everybody's here was fantastic. 
Another one that I think Jeremy's scoring didn't quite work for me was the duet task, which was to write a duet with yourself and perform it. Um, first of all, I thought everybody's attempt was amazing, so it would have been very hard to score. I think my favourite, even though all of them were great, I, I, I cannot get over Di's attempt. Like, it just absolutely cracks me up every time I see it. Like, it's one of those things where I have to pause it to kind of, like, laugh it out and then go back and watch everybody else's attempt, because I think his is just insanity. I love it. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Um, but yeah, as I said, everyone was good. Mel's was funny. Uh, Rose was awkward and funny and hilarious. Um, and Bubba's I thought was quite good. But I think Karen was absolutely robbed in this task. I thought her duet, like, was, like, it was a bit confusing who she was singing to, because she was kind of singing to Ray. But I think her song was fantastic. I loved um, just like the video of it. I liked the song. Uh, and then I liked that she like untied Ray's shoelace with her teeth at the end. Like just madness, but like such a great song. And she only got two points for it, which I think, yeah, as I said, she was absolutely robbed in that task. There were also like quite a lot of like wholesome moments in the show as well. I thought the win something task was very nice with like um, Bubba winning like a genuinely really nice prize like a really good thing and um, I think as well when she talked about the flag that she brought in that was like so important to her and like her shows I think that was really nice um but also I, I had to mention this because first of all Mel ringing up Jeremy's radio station was absolutely hilarious but Ray and the claw machine just the absolute dedication again that would have frustrated me so much like he was there for two hours trying to win a like a soft toy just genuinely fantastic I don't know how he did it um and also I did like Karen's grant like her story around that I thought was funny um but yeah I like that one and I think the last main task I'm going to talk about is just the one that I wanted to say was good was the find and complete the most uh tasks I think this is just a really strong task in general um I think everybody's attempt was great um and all the little tasks were, were quite funny I like to think this is a task where they had little ideas for things but like obviously wouldn't flesh out to a real task so they've kind of chucked it all into one and made them do um, a bunch of things. I thought this was great, Ray finding all of the tasks on Paul was hilarious and also I'm so kind of annoyed that nobody found the one on their back until Ray did it at the end. Um, I assume they all found it at the end because they would have found like at least if it wasn't filmed they probably would have found it anyway. Yeah it would have been so funny trying to see one of them recite a Shakespeare soliloquy wherever it was um but yeah that task I really liked again that would have been one that I would have thoroughly enjoyed doing for the team tasks I liked I really liked the way the teams split up Ray and Mel seem like like really good friends which I wouldn't have thought going into the show um but I'm actually going to go see both of them because they're doing a UK tour well Mel's doing a UK tour and Ray is supporting her and I have got tickets to one of their shows and I cannot wait I'm so excited um but I thought the other three worked really well together as well. Um, I you wouldn't have normally paired them all together, but I think they were just so all so kind of like different and sometimes they worked really well together and sometimes just all of their different ideas kind of meshed and didn't work. Um, but yeah, I think there were some really strong team tasks. I don't think there was as many team tasks this season as other seasons, but that might just be me not thinking about it properly. Um, but yeah, obviously I think there were two there are two or three main team tasks that I thought were genius. First of all was the podcast task. The podcast one was amazing. Um, I wish I'd listened to it like before the show came out because you can just imagine the confusion about hearing Mel and Ray talk about bananas for like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, this I thought was such a fantastic task, like, like, for, like actually putting it out there for the public to listen to and hilarious that the team of three didn't think to promote it. Um, but yeah, I just thought, so good. I love how the team of three managed to make moisturiser a race thing um, and, and a sexist thing as well. I can't remember all the things they talked about. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a fantastic task. The um, cookie red herring task, possibly one of my favourite tasks that they have done. I thought this was genius. The setup, all the red herrings, amazing. And just, yeah, the result at the end that the red herring was the one who stole the cookie, just absolutely mind blowing. I thought it was hilarious and obviously made funnier by the fact that the team of three immediately accused Paul <laughs> of being the one who stole the cookie, uh, which is funny because like the team of three lost drastically and, but also just, yeah, as Paul mentioned, that task must have taken so long to set up for it to just be pointless. Um, and I was quite surprised that it was Karen who immediately jumped the gun and accused Paul. I would have, uh, 
probably thought Baba because she in the task is the one that's kind of fallen victim to like oh so first attempt is is a thing you know she's had more like disasters in her tasks like I think she was a very strong contestant and very good at the task but she had most kind of like disasters on hers but the fact that she was the one who was cautious and being like no there must be more to it like this it doesn't make sense and for Karen to immediately accuse Paul just genius um but yeah as I said Mel and Ray seem to be having the time of their lives on this task I would have loved this one and I'm so glad that (laughs) the crew actually managed to have the full task play out um and you know they didn't set it up for nothing again but yeah such a great payoff at the end when it was revealed it was the red herring um another team task I liked was the maze task I thought both of the attempts were hilarious again team of two being a lot better than the team of three but the team of three absolutely hilarious all the times they messed up just yeah just absolutely amazing tasks and even the studio tasks again were really really strong um I think key ones for me that I really liked was the balloon the the balloon dart one just genius Ray messing up terribly and getting all of the possible penalties he could get um I liked the give a compliment to Jeremy I thought it again it seemed kind of simple taking the cars like down the ramp but again it seemed it seemed very very difficult and I thought the acceptance speech one was funny um and I thought Karen was particularly good at that I can't remember where she scored but I remember being annoyed that one person it might have been Karen I remember being annoyed that one person got disqualified got taken out when they shouldn't have done I can't remember exactly who Uh, and the flower vacuum roulette one was fantastic just very very good studio tasks I I don't think there's any that would have been disappointing for the audience there to watch like sometimes the studio tasks like it's no fault of their own, own because sometimes that happens but sometimes they don't live up to kind of what they expect either they're over too quickly or it's very anticlimactic but I thought all of these were pretty good I also liked this was a tiebreaker one but the lie down task tiebreaker just genius again I don't know how they come up with all these ideas but that I thought was hilarious and I'm glad that there was a tie break so that that could be shown and I really want to see everybody else's attempts as well. One thing that was a bit different about season four compared to the, all the other ones was that season four aired two episodes a time for five weeks instead of one episode a week for, for ten weeks. Um, personally I don't know how this affected um, like people's enjoyment of the show as it aired. Um, for me it's a bit different because obviously I'm not in New Zealand um, but I really love the kind of, you know, 10 weeks is such like a, well, it's not a long, long time, but like, it's a decent time to get excited for each episode. I feel like like the hype for each episode is really there when you're waiting a week for each episode. But again, two episodes at the same time is very good because you get to have two hours of Taskmaster a week. Maybe it might have played in better with some of the run-ons of like the marriage and divorce task. I can't remember whether they would have aired on the same week or not. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting. I don't know if you're our viewer in New Zealand, whether you enjoyed that or not um but yeah so I don't know um for me as somebody not in New Zealand it didn't really impact my viewing as much but I think if it was one of the UK ones airing two episodes a week while I would enjoy it week by week I feel like after five weeks I'd feel really like oh that's it that's Taskmaster over if you know what I mean I think there was like a valid reason for it to air like that um but yeah I'm not sure would you like it to air like that in the future again but yeah as I said series four of Taskmaster New Zealand was an absolutely amazing season is it the best Taskmaster New Zealand season I don't know I still have such a fondness for New Zealand series for Taskmaster New Zealand series two but I think the tasks in this one were absolutely exceptional I loved all of the contestants they were all very very strong um, and funny and I, like I said just seemed to be really enjoying themselves. Paul and Jeremy were also very very good as well particularly Paul I think I've mentioned it in every review I've done of Taskmaster New Zealand I think Paul as a Taskmaster assistant is absolutely amazing I think his dedication to the tasks um, like his the way he kind of plays with the contestants is very very strong and I think just the character that he's played while it's reminiscent of the UK Taskmaster assistant it's so different as well like he's done such a good job with it and Jeremy I think personally I quite like Jeremy I know some people don't like his scoring or don't think he's as good as everyone else like I wouldn't say in comparison to Greg Davis I I wouldn't say he's as good but I personally really like Jeremy and the way that he kind of worked with the contestants but yes as I said an amazing season um it's not out in the UK yet but hopefully it will be out soon um I'm not sure how all the licensing thinging is working with airing the New Zealand episodes in 
the UK, but hopefully it will be available to watch on Channel 4 soon. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If you like this, then please give it a like. It really helps the channel. And a comment down below your thoughts on Taskmaster New Zealand Series 4. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? And subscribe if you want to see more videos too of Taskmaster. I'll have some out for you soon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.